Well, let's talk about strong. This, yeah. first of all, it looks so good, and it's uh, it's obviously people lose weight, but it's more than that. It, it's much more than that. Uh, Dave Broom, uh, he he basically developed the shelf, and he came from Biggest Loser, so he really had an understanding of, of what makes people tick. But this is different. Everyone has, for years, have been talking about getting thinner and thinner and thinner, and this is talking about being strong, being what nature intended you to be, and people that have basically been beaten up by life, downtrodden, you know, broken a little bit by life. And this is an opportunity for them to become unbreakable, for a chance for them to kind of like be who they want to be, at least take a shot at it. Mm -hmm. And these trainers who come from different walks of life, some are boxers, some are uh, MMA guys or football players, at first it becomes very professional, but you see that they develop this real affection for one another in a, in a uh, simpatico. And they start to understand about their lives and what these women have been through and what they're overcoming. And I'm telling you, break your heart and it's make you want to sing for joy. I mean, it really is amazing. Because it's a, it's a trainer teamed up with a, yeah. a woman. It's 10 uh, yeah. women and 10 trainers. Right. Um, and you have Gabby Reese, who is a, a professional volleyball player and yeah. a fitness trainer. Um, and she's hosting. She's here today. So let's bring Gabby out right now. Sylvester Stallone is executive producing, and uh, Gabby Reese is hosting. And what makes this different than the others? Well, for starters, this, the, the premise isn't, hey, we're going to lose a bunch of weight. Uh, this is people coming and saying, I've gotten off my North Star a little bit, life's been busy, and, or I haven't found my voice yet, and I want to just be the best me. And I think for me what was so compelling is I'm six foot three, I'm 175 pounds. The idea of being a size two was probably not in my reality, maybe when I was 10 years old. And so I think the notion of encouraging people to say, who am I and how can I be my best? That's the start. There's giant sexy um, challenges that they have to do that you can't believe that they're doing. Really yeah, I saw some, they're I amazing. Mean, it's, I'm, and they're, you can't phone this in, this is dead yeah. serious. And these are not athletes, these are women who have been stay at home exactly. moms yep. or just, yeah. That's right. I mean, this is what I say, ordinary people doing extraordinary things mm. because they've made this decision. Their trainers are competing with them. And so then you have the heart and soul of that relationship between the trainee and the trainer. And he's, he's putting it out there just yeah, as much as she is. Yeah, because they both go home if it's, so it's the team, That's right? right? Yeah, so. Well, and also, she, he doesn't want to fail because of her. Right. These ladies are, everything is out there. Yeah. It's a great idea. And then you've got this guy as a boss. How's that? <laughs> He's tough, though, I have to tell you. He's like, no, you know the I'm thing. I'm not going to mess with her I at all. <laughs> he, he has enough women at his house. His house is like my house. He has three daughters. We have three daughters. All these alpha men, and then they get it yeah, in I the know. end. I, they I, get I, all the daughters. I, but maybe. I think for me, you know, Sly, if you think about it, he created one of the most, you know, the ultimate underdog in pop culture with Rocky. And in a way, these women, mm. These are Rockies. They're saying, hey, I'm down, and now I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to be up. And if I fall down, I'm going to get back up. And that's what they do. Yeah, it's, it's a great show. And I have to say, yes, you created a very uh, uh, tenacious character, and, and you're, you're an amazing athlete. But you're the sweetest s guy I have ever met. I mean, I just fell in love with Don't you when I met that. you. I really, I mean it. <laughs> and, you know. He's blushing. Oh, you, you. Listen, you've been married 19 years. You bring your wife chocolates twice a week. You, oh, my God. I mean, that is the sweet. And so now your 19th uh, wedding anniversary is coming up. You must be doing something, like, really special. Well, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah. I, I, I basically just keep my mouth shut. I don't cause waves. You know, because, I, I, again, uh, she, she's fantastic. <laughs> but it's all women. Women rule. And even the dogs. They're, they're female, and the one male has been neutered. So I just sit there and like, I love to hang out with someone, you know? Yeah. Like, it's like, so I just sit there and just watch, you know, the leaves fall off the tree of my life. That is not In other words, he's saying he's been tenderized. Yeah. Oh, completely. <laughs> but I love it, because that's what I love about him. He's so yeah. strong, and yet he's really sweet and so well-educated and an amazing artist. And Thank you. Just, I just think you're terrific, and I think you're terrific. Thank you. And the, I, I think it's a great idea for a show, too, because it is mentally strong and physically oh, strong, yeah. and that's it's just, it. which is the most important thing. It's called Strong. It premieres tonight at 9 on NBC. We'll be back.